okay hi guys we're back at it again with another video and we'll be talking about all the healers currently in genshin impact 4.5 update so we're going to be talking about the healers in genshin because if you play anything like me then you're gonna need the help of some healers okay like we don't want to be scavenging for some fruits and making our food the entire time we need somebody on the team to to pick up the slack so we can just attack 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 now i started playing genshin when noelle bennett and barbara were the main healers in the game and it is nice to have some more options to choose from because two of those are not my play style and i'm very aware that everybody has a type of play style that they like so based on this video you can pick and choose who would suit you best as a healer so i'll be going through a couple of things i'll give you the rundown of the character's story so you can connect with him and uh, we're going to be talking about some of the advantages that you get to have them on your team i'll showcase some weapons that you can use for them if we're poor if we're lucky if we can craft with all our resources you'll get some weapons to look at i'll also showcase the play style so you can see if this character matches the way how you like to play your game and uh, lastly we're going to talk about the healing factors that they possess if some names do get botched during this do forgive me but let's jump right into this okay so first off we have goro and he is a geo character so Goro's introduced to us during the Inazuma update and he is uh, uh, the great general of the Watasumi Islands forces. He's deeply trusted by his subordinates. Goro was introduced to us during the Inazuma update and to others he is known as the doggy general. So he was just a regular soldier but his captain had fell so this man stood up. Okay, this man took charge. He is a 4 star character and he uses a bow. Some bows that he's good with is the 5 star LG of the end. If you're lucky to pull that. Or we can just go for the sacrificial bow or the Favonius. Whichever one you can get, you get. Okay, so an advantage of having him on our team is that the location to resources that we need in Inazuma will appear on our minimap so if you already do have him use him because resources they ain't easy to find now let's talk about his playing style now his normal attack is only going to give us physical damage and it can do four shots back to back we can also do a charge attack which will deal geo damage if it's full you can aim or just place down his elemental skill which also deals geo damage you will get buffs from using this skill and if you have more than one geo character in the field they say the stronger the buff will be now apparently with his burst it provides us with the same advantages as his elementals except this is where healing comes in now he isn't initially a healer but his healing abilities is unlocked at constellation c4 that means you gotta pull for this man four times once he puts down his elemental burst whoever is on the field at that time will get healed based on 50 percent of goro's defense now it's also said that he needs two geo characters on his team for his healing to work effectively but i'm unsure if that means that if i have no other geo character that his healing won't work at all so if you guys know anything about that one do tell me but i highly doubt that's the case it's probably just that his healing won't be as effective as it would be if he had two geo characters on the field but you know he's cute he's a loyal man so give him a shot if that's your play style up next is my favorite man he's coming in as a bonus mr zhong li now i'm hyping up this man because he's my favorite man not because he's good at healing but he has the ability apparently to heal now okay so that's why he's coming in as a bonus now our big mans came to us with the leeway version and he's described as a mysterious expert contracted by the Wanshang Funeral Parlor. Extremely knowledgeable in all things. Now let's be honest here, we know he's the Geo God, okay? We love him. 
Also, to unlock his healing ability, you're gonna have to have uh, all his constellations. You're gonna have to pull this man six times, okay? And keep in mind, he is a five star. He is a pole arm user, and he can use the Vortex Vanquisher, which is his weapon. The Black Tassel, if we're poor, or if luck decides to bless us once in a while, we can get the Skyward Spine, also 5 star, or the Staff of Homa. There is also the prototype Star Glitter, which you can craft, okay? So we don't have to break the bank, we can just craft something for our mans. There's many other ones he can use, but I'm just listing a few. And keep in mind, I too am poor because I'm a free-to-play player, okay? I haven't spent one dime on this game to get any weapons or any characters okay so an advantage of our big man's is that he can break rocks okay i put down my man he will break a rock and of course we all know the biggest one is his shield we all know that's what he is known for so for his playing style he can attack six times in a row and deal physical damage you can hold the attack button and you'll consume some of your stamina but you'll be able to lunge forward and casting down stone spares that also hits him with physical damage now if you tap his elemental burst then this pillar is gonna come up and that man's gonna hit geo damage to your enemies but if you press and hold which is iconic then our big man's shield is about to activate yeah we're gonna be protected for days once our stone racks up a bit of damage on these enemies then we are able to charge our elemental burst so that brings us into our healing abilities so apparently at constellation c6 which i doubt i'll ever be touching with my Zhongli, so I might not be able to witness this in real life, but apparently. When the Jade Shield takes damage, whoever is on field with the shield on, then they are going to be receiving 40% of HP from that damage. Next up is a character called Dory, and she is an Electro Element. Dory is described as an exclusive merchant who has a fondness for glittering Mora. So Dory is one of the chibi characters and she is from Sumeru. She seems to be a well-rounded businesswoman who's looking to profit at all times. And despite her small size, Dory is a 4 star Playmore character. You can use the Favonius Greatsword, the Wolf's Gravestone, the bell or even the forest regalia an advantage of dory is that some of the items that she crafts she has the ability to recover some of the materials used so her, with her playing style she can deal physical damage with three attacks in a row if you hold the attack button then she's going to be doing a spinning move when she's coming to an end with her spinning the genie will deliver an extra blow which will send these men's flying also so this deals physical attack okay for the other couple moves i'm gonna let this lady explain it because i don't quite understand it elemental skill fires troubleshooter shots from her spirit warding lamp dealing electro damage to enemies to sweeten the deal when troubleshooter shots hit their target two after sales service rounds are produced that automatically track down their nearby enemies and deal extra electro damage elemental burst she summons the genie from her lamp to provide her customers with a plethora of services the genie connects to a nearby character causing them to become affected by electro so dory's healing ability is from her max hp and her healing source is from her burst so she's able to be used as a battery where she's continuously healing and she is recovering the energy so how the healing source seems to work so whoever's on field by that genie will be receiving the healing from it next up is my mens from day one miss noelle she is a geo element as well such an elegant helpful character that we have in the game from since day one proud of her she's always been on my team never left she's described as a maid who faithfully serves the knights of favonius she dreams of joining their ranks someday you know my girl has goals she got dreams okay she's also a four star that yields a claymore she can hold the white blind the wolf's gravestone 
or even the red horn stone clay mark. So an, an advantage of Noelle that I personally know about is her shield. It's a pretty good shield. Now her gameplay style now is pretty brute. It's pretty straightforward. Like we come in there with a couple one two. Like we hit this guy a few times and then we can do a, a, a charge normal attack which will be our spin. And we also have our shield as our skill. Then we have our elemental burst which will give us some geo damage. So now let's roll into talking about our healing abilities. So if Noelle is built right, then she can easily be comparable to some of the 5 star characters with her healing of course. Her healing depends on her defense levels and also it comes from her skill. So when Noelle puts down her shield and we're up here hitting some people, then it's going to be healing everybody on field and off field, which is amazing. So much needed. Next up, we have this guy named Mika. I don't really know this man too much. I barely saw anything on him, but he is a cryo character. Mika is described as a young knight born to an ordinary family. He serves as a frontline surveyor in his company. He is a low-key and a cautious character. So based on what I was seeing, this man's running around with Klee, doing some work for the Fogonius Knights in mapping out regions. So even though this man carries a book around, yeah, he's actually a pole arm user and he is a four-star character. So this man can use the engulfing lightning, the Favonius Lance, the Black Tassel, if we got nothing else, or the Skyward Spine. So the advantage of having this man in the party is that he will find us items located in Mondstadt in our map. So this guy also has a crossbow, by the way, and within his five consecutive attacks for his normal attack, it alternates between the pole arm and the crossbow, which deals physical damage. His charge attack will make him lunge forward, which also deals physical damage. If you tap his elemental skill, then you will activate the crossbow, which also activates cryo arrows. If you hold down the button, this man will aim the cryo arrows. Now this leads us to his elemental burst, which is where we'll be getting our healing from. So this pulls us in right to his healing abilities, which is based on his max HP. Now when his elemental burst is activated, he ends up healing the entire party. And during this state, the active character can further enhance their healing potential by generating a small amount of HP with each hit on an enemy. If you're into his playing style, I think he's worth a shot to have on your team. Up next, we have Chevros. She is a Pyro character. Now, Chevros is the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol who wears justice as an ever-present seal upon her heart. Her musket shall only ever point at the guilty. Now she is one of the characters who were introduced with the Fontaine region and as you can tell by her hand fills, she's into junk food a lot. Now she's a unique character as well because she holds a gun but her weapon is a pole arm. Now she can yield the Black Tassel, the Staff of Homo, or the Favonius Lance. Now an advantage of having her in the team is that she reduces the sprinting stamina consumption making our exploration faster. Now straight into her play style, she's able to do four consecutive attacks with her pole arm as her normal attack, giving us physical damage. Like all the other pole arms, she will lunge forward with her charged attack. Now this is where it gets fun. When you tap her elemental skill, she's about to shoot that gun bro and she is about to let go pyro. Now if you hold that bad boy down, you can aim. Her elemental burst is her shooting some grenades. Now this brings us straight into talking about her healing abilities. Her healing abilities come straight from her elemental skill, not her elemental burst. 
It is based on her HP levels and it also only heals who is on field. Now we're going to another chibi character called Sayu. Sayu deals animal damage, which for people who don't know, that means wind. Now Sayu is described as a pint sized ninja attached to the Shu Matsuban, who always seems sleep deprived. So Sayu is a four star character introduced with Inazuma and she holds a claymore. She can yield the wolf's gravestone. This is the wrong sacrificial sword, but she can hold the sacrificial great sword. And I can't pronounce the first name, but the aquamarine. So an advantage of having her on the team because she's a ninja and because she's lazy, she can hold her breath. Okay, so we can catch those frogs, those butterflies, those lizards, no problem. Now straight into her play style, we can hit a man's four times in a row and deal some physical damage. Holding it down as always gives us that spinning move. If you tap her elemental mode, we do some um, animal damage. Holding the skill down allows us to roll in animal. And this girl seems like she can roll for a good while. By the way, while she's rolling, we can land into elemental absorptions, okay? So like if we interact with fire, then because we are wind, obviously we're going to spread that fire more, guys. And now her elemental burst, which brings us straight into her healing abilities. Also with her elemental burst, we get a little helper. Now her healing is based on her attack level. Now when she does her elemental burst, our little helper comes up and uh, there is a circle that we need to stay into. And whoever is on field at that moment in the circle will be gaining the healing effects. Now this is a pretty big circle so I wouldn't dismiss her as a healer based on her size. She's actually cute, her little helper is cute, it's where to pull. Now we're heading into more serious territory with Miss Shinobu who is an Electro character. She's described as the capable and reliable of a Taki Gang deputy leader. Please note, capable and reliable are not appellations for the Arataki gang, but for their deputy leader in specific. Seems like her little gang is uh, unreliable, due to her always bailing them out from the police station. Now, Mishinobu is a 4 star from Inazuma and she yields a sword. She can use the Moonlight, the Iron Sting, and the Freedom Sworn. Now the advantage of having her is when you put her on an expedition in Inazuma, she will give us extra rewards. Now straight into her playing style, she can do 4 consecutive attacks dealing physical damage in her normal attack. If you hold it down, we will do 2 swift strikes in front of us. Now her elemental skill is pretty cool. Once you activate it, a ring of electro is going to be around you. It will stay on even if you switch out the character and put someone else in. Now this provides us with great ability to do elemental reaction damage but the downside is that every time it is used it takes some of Shinobu's HP but it will not decrease based on a certain level. Now for elemental burst so she stabs her sword into a ground and this creates a field of uh, electro damage and if her HP is a low then it lasts longer than if it was high which now this brings us into her healing abilities which is not from her elemental burst it's actually from her elemental skill instead now her healing is scaled to her max hp and she's the first electro healer we've ever had apparently her healing does very well with dendro reactions even though when her skill is used her hp goes down it is able to boost the hp of whoever is on field at that moment in her electro ring now we're onto another chibi character whose element is cryo. Her name is Diona and she's described as a young lady who has inherited traced amounts of non-human blood. She's an incredibly popular bartender of the Cat's Tail Tavern. She's a four-star character 
who is introduced all the way in Mondstadt and she yields a bow. Now she can use the end bow, the sacrificial bow, or, or the recurve bow. An advantage of having her on her team is that apparently she has a shield as well. Now her playstyle is not different from any other bow character and her elemental skill obviously deals cryo damage as well as her elemental burst. Now this brings us straight into her healing abilities. So her healing is based on her max HP and the healing source is her burst. Now when she does her burst, she creates this ice ring area that you need to stay within and whoever is within that, they will be getting the healing benefits. If you want to heal another character, you're going to have to switch them out and let them be in that ring. Next up, we have the journalist, Charlotte. She is a cryo character. She's described as a reporter of the Steambird, constantly on the hunt for the truth. Now, her gameplay is actually pretty interesting because she carries around a camera, somewhat like how Mika carries around a book and a crossbow, but her actual weapon is a catalyst. Now, you, she can use yield the skyward atlas the favonius kodak or kagura's verity an advantage is that we can take photos straight into her playing style she can deal cryo damage in three consecutive moves with her camera now her charged attack she is able to make that book fly around bro and just hit those opponents with cryo damage her elemental skill is also done with the camera and it freezes her opponents and i'm gonna let this guy explain what happens when this skill is held when her elemental skill is held Charlotte opens Monsieur Verité's viewfinder and enters composition mode. In this mode, the viewfinder range gradually expands until it reaches its maximum size. Charlotte can move freely and change direction during this time. When the skill is released, Monsieur Verité deals cryo damage to enemies locked in the viewfinder and applies snappy silhouette as if the skill were tapped. Now her elemental skill creates a news flash scene where she deals cryo damage as well. Which now brings us into her healing ability because it has to deal with her elemental burst. Also she's a 4 star character from Fontaine. Now based on her attack level she is able to heal all characters in the party. Whether they're on the field off the field she's just able to heal all of them one time when she puts down her elemental mental burst now that is pretty impressive and her gameplay is pretty different it's unique it's fun so you guys can definitely give her a try now this is allowing us to run straight into our day one healer miss barbara and she is a hydro element she's described as every citizen of mondstadt adores barbara she learned the word idol from a magazine. Now side note, her sister is Jean, okay? And she's also from Mondstadt and she's been here from day one. Miss Barbara has been here from day one. She's a four star character and she is a catalyst user. Now she can use the Favonius Coda, Everlasting Moon Glow, or if we got nothing else, then she can use the Dragon Slayers. Now we're gonna go straight into the playstyle for Miss Barbara because I'm not really sure of any advantages because I did not really play Barbara. Okay, it wasn't my tea. But a lot of people love using Barbara. She was it. She was a star. So her normal attacks are Hydro. Her elemental skill is Hydro. Holding down the elemental skill seems to give her a flow of water surrounding her. Musical water, that is. Her burst is very elegant and that is where her healing comes in. Miss Barbara does not miss a beat. Now her healing is based off of her max HP and it mainly comes in from her burst, but it also can come in from her skill. Now with Barbara's elemental burst, she is able to heal all the characters off field when she uses her elemental skill and forms a ring of water around herself now that will also heal you and her attacks will heal you basically everything barbara does is built to heal us now we're on to another man from day one mr bad luck which is bennett and he is a pyro character so bennett is the unluckiest and clumsiest character in the game but he is a sweetheart and he loves to look for treasure even though of his bad luck he's proven to be a loved character by a lot of the players he is an adventurer from monstat and he is uh, the sole member of Benny's adventure team. He is a 4 star character and he yields a sword. 
He can use the Ali Flash Sword, the Favonius Sword, or the Mist Splitter. Now, in terms of advantage of having Bennett on the team, like one of those little perks all the other characters have, I couldn't find one for him, let's say that he increases our speed or something, but an advantage I can say that I know he has is that he is one of the strongest support and healers in the game based on what other players have said. So now in terms of his playstyle, it's just like any other sword user so our first normal attack will be some slash moves with our sword okay it's gonna just deal regular damage physical damage and our elemental skill is what's gonna give us the pyro damage and our elemental burst lays down a circular field now this is where our healing comes into place okay so we're going straight into the healing abilities now his healing is based on his max HP and he also has the ability to buff the value attack of the team members massively. But once you put down his circular field, you need to be in the circle so you can receive the healing and it will be whichever character is on field at that time. And the healing ability can be described as rapid and a life-saving HP regeneration. Life-saving. Now we're going into another Mondstadt character, Miss Jean, and she is an animal user. Jean is described as the righteous and rigorous dandelion knight and acting grandmaster of Mondstadt Knights of Favonius. So she's the head person in charge, okay? She's be ruling Mondstadt. Now, by the way, this is Barbara's sister. She's a very hard worker, and as they say, self-sacrifice is the dandelion's path. Now, Jean's a five-star character, and she was many people's crush, okay? And I mean many people. Also, she's a sword user. She can use the Favonius sword, the Primordial Jade or the Anemone Sword. That name might be botched, so I threw it up on the screen for you guys. Now the advantage of having Jean on the team is that she is great at cooking, okay? You add her to a stove, you will not get one dish, you will get two dish, okay? She will double it. So into her playing style, okay, she got a sword, so she's gonna hit them like five times consecutively physical damage. Holding it down though, holding that attack down, she about to make that man fly with her attack, okay? Animal's gonna come out, he's gonna fly. Using her element skill, Animal's gonna come out, okay? And she's just gonna like shoot that man away. Holding it down, she's gonna form a little storm that she's gonna gather those men in front of her and then she's gonna make them fly away, okay? And the best part, she can pick the direction in which she wants them to fly. Apparently with this attack, we can throw these mans off the cliff, bro. Now, in her elemental burst, this is called a dandelion field, okay? So she creates a dandelion field. Now that gives us animal damage to anybody who enters this field, okay? It's gonna be a circle on the ground. You enter it, you're gonna be getting hit, okay? But this also brings us into her healing ability because it comes straight from her burst. Now her healing is scaled off of her attacks. So once Jean puts down this circle, whoever is in the circle will get healed. And also, she's able to do some healing based on her normal attack. Now, I've never gotten Jean, okay? She's a 5 star. I'm not that great at pulling 5 stars. I've never gotten Jean, so I never really looked into her. I just knew everybody did love her. And now I am seeing why. She seems very much up my play style. This whole video now is making me want to pull for Jean. Now we're going into another chibi mans, my favorite mans, Chi Chi. I love her, many people tell me not to, but let me tell you something. When I had to take Noelle out of my team, Chi Chi pulled us the whole way through. That little short girl did so much healing for me, okay? I was impressed. Now Chi Chi is a crier character. She came with leeway and she's a little zombie girl, okay? Like Chi Chi has moved on from us and now that seal on her head has brought her back to us. Now Chi Chi has pulled me through some dark days. Initially, I did not want her because I lost a 50-50 when I was trying to get uh, Raiden. 
Now Chi Chi is an apprentice and a herb gatherer at Boo Boo Pharmacy, an undead with a bone white complexion. She's seldom has much in the way of words or emotions. I got so excited to talk about Chi Chi that I forgot to say that she is a 5 star character and she's a sword user. Now she can use the sacrificial sword, that A word again, or the sky word. Yo, Chi Chi will hook us up with Herb's location, okay? She got them marked for leeway. So the mini map will show us where plants unique to leeway grows. So Chi Chi's normal attack, we're going right into her playstyle, deals about 5 consecutive attacks and its physical damage. Holding down that, this girl's gonna slash. With our elemental skill is where our cryo kicks in, and this Batman's will circle us, he will follow us, okay? We are protect. Apparently, this Batman's can also freeze water. So with it activated, we can just take a shortcut and cross some water. Her elemental burst deals high levels of cryo damage, and it is able to also freeze the opponent for a short while. So now this brings us straight into Chi Chi's healing abilities, which not only comes from her elemental burst, it comes from her elemental skill as well. Her healing is based off of her attack, okay? And when you put down her elemental skill, the little man who follows you does damage. Whoever is on the field at that time, who is being followed by that, will get healing. And as you attack with Chi Chi, during this time, she'll be healing everybody else in the party. Now we're going to talk about another character called Yao Yao. She's also a mini -mans, and she is a part of the Dendro community. She's described as the street word rambler's youngest disciple, a gentle and caring little adult. I'm sure she's not an adult, I'm assuming. I don't know much about her, but I'm sure she's not an adult. She's just a little kid. She, seem, she seems to spend her time into the mountains a lot, apparently the Adeptize has taken a liking to her and bestow her with gifts. I'm teaching her Adeptus arts, but she is a human. Now Yao Yao seems to be from Liwei, and she is a 4 star character, and she yields a polearm. You can use the Black Tassel for her, the Favonius Lance, or the Rightful Reward. An advantage of having her in the party is that she too will not scare off any animals like crystal flies and lizards, so you have an easier chance of catching them. Now straight into her playstyle, she can deal physical damage with her normal attack which gives you 4 consecutive hits with her pole arm. Her charge attack makes her lunge forward, also physical damage. Okay, so tapping her skill allows her to throw that little bunny guy and he's gonna hit out some dendro. If you hold down the skill, you can aim where you want it to be thrown and then he will come out and start attacking. So it'll be as if you have two people attacking. Now when she releases her elemental burst, then she unleashes three of these rabbits, okay? She got three mans on your case now, which brings us straight into her healing abilities. So she's able to heal based on her max HP and her healing sources are from her skill and from the elemental burst mainly because of that little rabbit. So when she throws that man out, okay, either on the scale or in the burst, he's going to be targeting anybody who is a low in HP, he will help you heal. And if you are high in HP, then he's going to be attacking instead. But if there's no enemies around and uh, you throw him out, then he's going to be healing you whether you need it or not. Now this means that the crack has to be on field for this healing to happen. But she also has the ability to heal off field characters based on some bursts that the rabbit does. So far from her part, there seems to be a lot of healing happening. Next up we have Furina. Now she is a hydro element. She's described as the absolute focus of the stage of judgment until the final applause sounds. Now Furina is from Fontaine and she's a big celebrity there and everybody knows that she's one of the seven archons. Now Furina is an all out performer but she eventually gave that up to just be behind the camera. So she used to be a public persona but she is now living a, a regular life as she possibly can. Now naturally being the Hydro Archon, she is a 5 star character and she yields a sword. Now you can equip her with the Favonia Sword, the Splendor of Tranquil, or the Key. While Farina is in the party, 
The cooldown of Xenochromatic Fontamer Aberrant skills is reduced. Now, straight into her playing style. With her normal attacks, she does four consecutive attacks, which deals physical damage. Holding it down allow those men to go flying without her lifting her sword. Now her elemental skill brings up these water creatures which will help us fight and they deal hydro damage. Also, while they're there, she can walk on water no problem. It's quite elegant. With her elemental burst, she creates a stage of bubble and foam which deals hydro damage. Now, this brings us straight into her healing abilities. Now, with one of Furina's elemental skills, it seems to be based on her max HP. So this version will slowly consume HP off of allies that have over 50% of their max HP left. Now when they're ready, instead of dealing hydro damage, the creatures that Furina summons will heal the active characters on the field based on her own max HP stats. Now apparently if the healing starts to overflow, then she'll heal another member based on their HP. Also her elemental burst heals as well. And uh, some people tend to pair her with another healing character just in case because depending on how much your HP goes down when she uses certain moves, they like to have somebody else to pair with her. Now I'm not gonna lie, but explaining how her healing works seems to be a bit more complex than like the regular characters that we talked about before. But a lot of people love her. Like they love her playset and they love everything about her. They even call her broken and godlike, so at this point, like, I'd probably want to pull for her too. Especially since I normally have Noelle on my team anyways. Okay, next we have Xiong Wen. I might be saying that wrong, so we're just gonna call her Master, okay? Or aka Cloud Retainer, as we all know her by. And she is Animal. Now, she is very cool. She's described as one of the mighty and illuminated adepti of Zhang Yun, known as Cloud Retainer. Experts in all kinds of mechanical contraptions, her heart now turns towards the affairs of the mortal world, through which she walks under the name Zhang Lin. Again, sorry if I'm botching this. Now, she's adopted some big names in this game. They've mentored under her like Ganyu or... We can say she has a nurturing personality, but in a strict, firm way. But deep down, she really cares, okay? She's a sweetheart. Although she won't admit it, she won't show that side. But she belongs in Liyue, and uh, she seems to like toys. Again, she can't show that side either. And she's a 5-star character, and she's a Catalyst user. Now, she could use Skyward Atlas, Crane's Echoing Call, or Flowing Purity. Now, the advantage of having her on the team is that when we're flying, she helps us fly faster. Clearly. This lady used to be a crane and she's animal. Now her normal attack, as a catalyst, she deals four attacks in animal. Healing animal damage, of course. When her attack is charged, she will launch a breeze bolt. Also dealing animal damage. Her elemental skill launches her forward and is able to like put her in the air so she can attack from an aerial standpoint and just dive right into you. Now apparently with this is how some people start to move, like they're not walking anymore, we're up here jumping, flying, that kind of situation. Also when this move is used, she increases plunging attacks, so Zhao would be amazing with her. Now her elemental burst brings out a sacred breeze, okay, and that deals animal damage, obviously. And it also brings out this crane mechanism thing, super cool. Which brings us directly into our healing abilities. Now her healing mainly comes from her elemental burst and seems to be based on her attack levels. Now when she uses her elemental burst, this is going to heal all the nearby characters so on field, off field, it's healing you, okay? By the time I'm finished this video, the amount of 5 star characters I'd want would run me broke if I was actually paying for characters in this game. Not to say that the 4 stars are not amazing as well, but do you see this lady? How elegantly she moves? These new movesets and items that they're adding in this game to have like other things fight for you now, how they have uh, like Boba or this crane guy or even Furina's little helpers are all very interesting and they add a different perspective to the playstyle, it's very cool. 
Now we got this man who I must tell you I'm scared of because of that snake around his neck so I've stayed away from this guy, okay? But this man's name is Dr. Baiju, okay? And he is a dendro user and he is served by my adorable, faithful little Chi Chi because he is the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy and he is rarely seen without the white snake name Chang Sheng. His medical knowledge is encyclopedic and his personal intrigues subtitle. Now listen, I don't know what most of those big words mean, but obviously it has to mean that this man is very knowledgeable in the medical field. And he just probably doesn't share much information about himself that is personal. So he is a 5 star catalyst user. So he can use the Favonius Codex, the Dragon Slayer, or the Jade Falls Splendor. Now, Baiju's advantage is also healing related, okay? So if you interact with certain resources, you pick them up or whatever, then he is going to heal you. So straight into his playing style, his uh, normal attack will do 4 times and it will be dendro attack. His charge attack, also dendro related, he's just gonna like spare these guys. Now for his elemental skill, he's gonna throw out a dendro sprite and this man's gonna be attacking things. If there's nobody there to attack, he'll come back. Now with his elemental skill, this is gonna give us a shield of dendro which brings us straight into his healing ability now his healing ability is based on his max hp and the healing source comes from his skill and his burst just a side note though apparently his healing is not effective in co-op mode now it is elemental skill healing when he throws out that attack he doesn't get healed until it is returned to him now his elemental burst seems to be what gives us the most healing from his shield now the shield seems to only heal the individual within it, but his elemental skill will heal everybody outside of the field as well. So you guys can give this guy a try, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy, but I'm going to stay away due to that snake. Now we're on to the last healer within the game, and that is Kokomi, and she is a Hydro character. So Kokomi is described as the divine priestess of Watasumi Island. All of the island affairs are at this young lady's fingertip. Now everything about Kokomi gives me mermaid vibes. Now, now Kokomi says that the governing is now where her vibe's at, okay, it's now where her strength lies, but but she can definitely step up to the plate when it comes to the art of war, okay? That is where her skills lie. Strategical planning seems to be her vibe, okay? And keep in mind, this is around Inazuma's time. That's where she's from, when Raiden was axing up, okay? So Kokomi is a five-star character and she's a catalyst user. She can use the everlasting moon glow, the dragon slayers, or the prototype amber. So the advantage of having her in her party is that she will reduce her stamina while we're swimming which is pretty helpful because i drown a lot i don't have her but i do have mona and yet i still drown so now to her unique playing style her normal attack she will deal three attacks in a row and they will take a form of fish this deals hydro damage if you hold it down it seems to do like a bursting effect also does hydro damage so with her elemental skills, it seems like it brings out a little jellyfish and this little jellyfish seems to deal hydro damage to the enemies and also seems to coat her in water. So with her elemental burst, she gets coated in this water veil and uh, it seems to increase her attack and everything else for her. And also with this skill, it allows us to walk on the water without interruptions. Now this brings me straight into her healing ability. Now her healing is based off her max HP and her healing sources is from her skill and her burst. Now most people categorize her as the best healer in Genshin, mainly because they feel that's what she was built for. Now with her elemental skill, when she summons the little jellyfish, while he's hitting an opponent, then that will be healing our teammates. And also with the burst, while it is on and she's hitting the opponent, that will also heal our teammates. Now do keep in mind the jellyfish will heal characters that are on field, while the elemental burst will heal the characters that are off field and whoever is on field. So now that brings us to examining all the characters so far in Genshin who are healers. And this brings us to who's the best. Now if you ask me i'm a free to play player and also i am not the most hardcore player that is amazing in the game so i'm lacking some skills in my play style so 
To me, the best healers in my book are the people who I currently have, which is Noel and Tiny Little Chi Chi. They haven't failed me once, they've never let me down. One's a four star, one's a five star, and I simply love them. But I must say, some of the characters that I've listed here, now that I've done my research on them and I've seen their playstyles and their stories, I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't tempted to get some new healers as well. Now on the pros two cents, they would say that Baizu, Kokomi, Bennett, Cloud Retainer, those to them would be the best healers in the game so far. But again, this is normally all down to opinion and their play style. And I think that for you to find a, the healer that will work for you, you should just base it on what play style works best for you. Also, who you can get at the moment and make that work, and who you believe you should be saving for, whose story you relate to, whoever you feel works best for you when you're gaming. Go for them. There's no right and wrong answer when it comes to this. Just people's opinions and certain stats and that kind of thing. So take your time, enjoy the game, go forward with the information given, and see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe for more videos.